Welcome to Breakthrough. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to click the subscribe button followed by the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Mark 12, 29. It says, first of all, Mark 12, verse 29. Jesus answered him. He said, the first of all of the commandments is. And then I highlight this word here. Because then we go here, O Israel. But I just want to say, that, I mean, I just, I'm taking a pause at here. Because if we don't hear God, how can you change? How can, how can you know? So God, let me hear. Let me hear something today from you. I, I came to church today to hear a word. I came to church today to hear something from you. And, and so he says, the first commandment is here. 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 The Lord, our God, is one Lord. And I could, can I just get, a, get an amen right there? Because the God I serve is the same God that you should be serving. Amen? And he's one. Amen? So if I'm talking to God and you're talking to God, we should come to church with the same suit coat on. Okay? We should come to church with the same mindset. We should come and worship the same God. Amen? The same God. Not the one that looks like I think he should look or that's doing what I feel like he should be doing, whether it's for me or for them. So it's the same one Lord. Verse 30. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart. All of your heart. Oh, you mean that car? You mean that, that other girl? You mean that, the, the, the good old days? The, you, mean, you mean the hope of, of that future? No, all of your heart. That means I don't have anything in between me and God. Nothing. It's just me and God against the world. <laughs> Who's going to win? I'm going to tell you what. God is going to win. He created this place. Every single thing you see, everything belongs to Him. I walk on his word. I, I, I see his word. I, I walk towards his purpose. Amen? There is no devil in hell. The devil could come and sit in this church right now. Oh, don't look at your neighbor right now. He could come sit in this service right now and he'd have no power because the word says, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Amen? So therefore, I put value on the word over what I see. Amen? Over what I, I think I know all my heart, and with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. That's just the first commandment. And the second is like unto this. You ready? Thou shalt love your neighbor, your brother, just like you love yourself. That's the second one. Most of us don't even have the first one right, so how can we ever have the second one right? We're dysfunction, dysfunction, dysfunction. Surprise, surprise. Okay. <laughs> I was going to talk to you about alignment. Okay. I, I don't know if you have that. Just put the word up there and then I'll, I'll just, I'll, I want to talk to you about alignment, but I'm not going to talk to you about alignment. Okay. I'm going to be done right now, but I just want to say this. Just this one thing, okay? <laughs> alignment, alignment happens when the Father and me and me and my brother all are on the same page. Alignment. And alignment, I'm going to talk to you about it next week, maybe if the Lord lets me, but alignment is, is where you have security, joy, and success. Okay? And if you're going to do anything for God, you, you need to have alignment. Okay? And so, so I'm looking, this is what I'm looking for. I'm asking, actually. I'm going to turn this off right now because I'm going to get distracted. Because this is what God wants to say right now at this moment. I'm looking for alignment. I'm looking for God to touch me. I'm looking for God, that, the same God that touched me, to touch my brother. 
And I don't care what it does, what it looks like, okay? It's not going to look right to me no matter what I think. But I'm going to have joy that God is working in his life. Amen? I'm going to love my brother even if he don't love me. I'm going to, I'm going to come into alignment because I trust that God is just as good for me as he is for him. And, and that, my friends, is enough to release. We can release it all to him and come to this simple thing called surrender. So let's stand together. Let's stand together and let's pray. Let's pray. I, I want you to, if, if you can, I know we got stuff you feel comfortable enough. If you're sitting next to somebody, just put your hand on their shoulder right now. And just say this, say this with me. Brother, I love you. I, I love you like God loves me. I pray that our relationship would be rich just like it is with God so that we can do the work God has called us to do in the earth today. In Jesus' name, amen. Now let me just pray for you. Father, I thank you for your word. I thank you, Lord, that we are your kids. I thank you, Lord, for changing our diapers today. I thank you, Lord, for changing us. I thank you, Lord, that you are the king and the Lord. and the, you're, you're sit on a throne in heaven, but you just didn't stay there. You came as a baby. And you died on a cross. And you live inside of our heart. And so, Father, today, we make you Lord savior and king of our heart of our life of our circumstances and father we ask you to change us today change us help us to change our mind we let you have the, we give you authority to change our heart and we just thank you father for all that you're doing in jesus name Amen. Amen. Now, I want to say...